a bitch. We control your bodies. Guess what? Guys win again, okay? Men win again. And yes, we control your bodies. Hi. I'm your Republican congressman. <laughs> Hi, I'm your Republican congressman. It's your body, my choice. <laughs> and men, women again, men win again. There will never, ever be a female president. Never. There will never be a female president, ever. It's over. Glass ceiling? Dude, it's a ceiling made of fucking bricks. You will never break it. Your stupid face keeps hitting the brick ceiling. We will keep you down forever. You will never control your own bodies. You will never be the president of the global empire. Never gonna happen, sweetie. Your body, our choice. No more abortions. Yeah, that's right. No more abortion abortions. No more food stamps. Sorry, honey. Project 2025 is back on the menu, and there's none of any of that. I love social media. I love these dudes coming on social media to let us all know how much they literally hate women. They come on here and they let us know how much they hate women. And that's a good thing. It should be freeing to you women with sense to know how much they emphatically hate you. So Nick Fuentes, went on, he went on this tirade talking about your body, our choice, your body, our choice. He had a whole video. It was definitely jarring. And for someone like me, I already knew that they hated us. I mean, I already know. But it should be a wake-up call for the MAGA ladies. This is what you voted for. You voted for this. And now your daughters get to go to school with people like this because Trump has tapped into the manosphere and the alt-right. And now you have unleashed your these these men on your children. Wow. That that whew, let, let me sip my coffee real quick. Mm, mm. It's going to be interesting, but some of us already knew. Now you get to know too. I don't really believe that the men are going to gain much from acting like this. There has already been a male loneliness crisis that they have been letting us know about for like two years now. And now they're probably going to get even lonelier. If you think you're lonely now, ho. Wait until tonight, ho. <laughs> oh, let me sip some more coffee. Mm. They gon' it's gonna get worse. But for the ladies, can y'all stop holding these men's hand? Let these men hold their own nuts, please. This article literally just came out like yesterday or something. Um, I think it's from the UK. Um, it says, "Are you man keeping? How women are bearing the brunt of the male loneliness epidemic? Can y'all please stop this?" Let these men hold, hold their own nuts. Let these men figure it out. I'm not going to do this article, but I will give a snippet. This is from India Block. She says, are you the only person your boyfriend can discuss his problems with? Are you entirely responsible for your husband's social life? Have you become the go-to shoulder to cry on for your male friends? And are you getting pretty tired of it all? If you answered yes to this, can you please stop this? These men don't like us. <laughs> Let them be, let them go find friends with their other male friends and let them create a circle jerk of maleness. <laughs> I just needed to point this out. Like, let's stop doing this. They have, and this is only for the women who had the sense to vote against Trump, to vote for Kamala. You know what? Let these men hold their own. They have been talking about this male loneliness epidemic for a while now. Men say they lack friends and often feel lonely. Men are lonely. We explore some reasons why and what can be done about it. In the loneliness epidemic, suppressed vulnerability takes a toll on men. <sighs> Let me drink some coffee. Mm. Mm. It's warm over here. It's, it's nice and cozy where I am right now. East Texas experts discuss male loneliness epidemic. 
loneliness is taking out men and without proper support and intervention, nothing will happen. <sighs> I have concepts of thoughts and prayers. This right here is a graph of self deletions from 2001 to 2021. As you can see, the top line is the male line and the green line is the female line. Male line is way, way higher. They keep talking about the, the loneliness crisis. Um, they keep talking, I mean, they have talked about this. We're talking about men falling out the workforce. I mean, there is a male problem. And then you got these men walk, running around talking about um, your body, our choice, your body, our choice. You got Trumpers running around acting wild. But what women can do, what we can do right now on today is the fem freeze. Me and some of my homegirls, we're talking about this. Let these men hold their own nuts. Stop doing anything for them. Stop giving them your time, energy, and resources. Stop being that warm shoulder to cry on. Stop doing things for them. Don't do their admin stuff. Don't, don't phone in their doctor's appointments for them. If they can't figure out how to phone in their doctor's appointments and they manage to not make it the whole four years of this Trump presidency, I mean, then that's a them problem, right? Stop being there. Stop going over to their house when they're sick. See if they make it out of that sickness. See if they make it to the other side because only the strong survive. And many of these people... Have, many of these people have diets of Hennessy and hot wings. If they are left to their own devices, how many of them are going to be left at the end of a Trump presidency without women? Ladies, pull back your time, energy, and resources. Pour into yourself and pour into other women and girls. I was tagged in this Reddit post from the Whim Women Refuse subreddit. They are calling for a 2025 X and labor strike. So I'm putting this information out there. Obviously, I'm a married woman with a family. I'm giving y'all this information for the single women, the child free women, the childless women who want to take a stand and completely divest your energy. Um, if you are on Reddit, um, I suggest going over here to the when women refuse. And they also have... Um, they also have another um, subreddit that they are creating specifically for this 2025 X and labor strike. So she said, in 2025, we ask women to pledge to withhold all romantic or actual engagement with men, refuse to perform unpaid domestic or emotional labor for men, no participation in the maintenance of patriarchal systems that exploit our time, bodies, and energy. They said up here, and I forgot to read this part, this is in response to the dangerous and oppressive policies being proposed under the guise of Project 2025. We are organizing a collective strike to take a stand against the patriarchy, misogyny, and the erosion of our rights. We're calling on women everywhere to join us in a strategic act of resistance for the year of 2025. She says, we will not comply with oppression the Republican Project 2025 agenda has made it clear that they intend to push forward dangerous legislation that threatens our reproductive rights, access to health care, workplace equality, and bodily autonomy. It's time for us to send a message that women cannot and will not be silenced, exploited, or subjugated. Our strike is not about demonizing individual men, but about challenging the structures that perpetuate patriarchy and the systems of power that benefit um, from exploiting women's labors and bodies by withholding our time and energy and our resources, we are making an undeniable statement. We demand better. How can you get involved? Take the pledge to join the strike for 2025. Share the message with others. Encourage other women to participate. Support one another in our collective action. This strike is not about is not just about abstaining. It's about solidarity and creating spaces for our voices to be heard. And then down here, this is where they're going to have a private group. And like I said, I know that I'm a married woman, but I can definitely share messages and create the spaces where women can come together and do our part. 
share women's voices, amplify our stories, um, share spaces where we can talk about how to support women businesses, women creators, and all of that. And I want to reiterate, share women's voices, share women content creator um, creators, share women's videos, and all of that. Stop giving air to men. Stop sharing, stop rage sharing their posts. Because when you do that, you send eyeballs to their pages and their videos. That is how they make money. Stop giving oxygen to people that hate us. Remember, they hate us. I'm just going to put this at the end just as a reminder to bring it all back. These people do not like women. They want to use you for your bodies. They think that they are owed a wife appliance and an incubator. It is time to divest your time, energy, and resources from the patriarchy because without our unpaid labor, our invisible labor, our underappreciated and unappreciated labor, these people will continue to fail and flail. All right, join the conversation. Let me know what you think. Please share this. And if you're a content creator, make your own content about the fem freeze or the X.